I recently got a new camera a couple of days ago and planned to try it out somewhere not too crowded and also not too far from my home. Then this one name came to my mind. Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya was Thailand's ancient kingdom. It is about 64 kilometers away from Bangkok, a current capital, which can be reached by bus or by cars within an hour or two. The kingdom existed during the 14th to 18th century, being known as one of the biggest and most thriving kingdoms in the East during that time. We arrived at Wat Chai Watanaram, one of the most famous spots here in Ayutthaya. It was constructed back in 1630 by King Prasad Thong in calm architectural style. Wat Chai Watanaram was once a royal temple where kings in Ayutthaya performed various ceremonies. There were brangs, jetties, and Buddha statues placed all around the area. Although it has been only around 400 years after the temple was first constructed, its condition doesn't seem to correspond with the date. This is because during the very last year of Ayutthaya Kingdom, they had numerous wars with their neighbour, Burma, and because of the conflicts among the monarch fighting for the throne and the struggle that had been going on for a long period of time within the kingdom, Ayutthaya experienced its downfall and was defeated by Burma in 1767. Most of the temples were burned down, Buddha statues were destroyed and the entire city was deserted, leaving nothing but ruins of its rich history back behind. Apart from being a place where kings perform religious rituals, Wat Chai Watanaram was also a place where many historical figures were cremated, including King Baromagot Sun, Zhao Fa Gong, or Zhao Fa Tamatibet, a famous and talented poet of Ayutthaya. I personally took Thai literature class when I was in high school and we learned a lot about him. So by being able to come and see where his relics were being kept, I somehow got goosebumps and was overwhelmed by so many feelings that I couldn't even describe. We then went to Wat Lokoya Sutta, a temple with the biggest reclining Buddha within the Ayutthaya city island. You can clearly see how the sky has turned dark at the back. I actually checked the weather forecast before we set off to the city. Turned out there will be thunderstorms every day of the week, before just an hour or two each time. So we decided to come anyway, despite the bad weather. like the weather forecast has said, but it lasted only an hour and a half during lunch, so that didn't bother us. After it stopped it raining, we went to a third destination, Wat Yai Shai Mong Khon. It is still an active temple with monks and nuns. Wat Yai Shai Mong Khon is famous for its massive jetty 
which had a long history connected to Narezuan the Great, a well-known king of Yutea. In 1592, King Nantaburing of Burma ordered his son, Meng Joshua, to attack Yutea. During the battle, King Narezuan and Meng Joshua had an elephant duel, which in Thai we call it Yutahati, and King Narezuan won. However, he was angry that his army was unable to follow him, so he wished to execute the generals. But the patriarch who stayed at Wat Yai Shai Meng Kun at the time advised him not to, and built jetties to celebrate his victory instead, to which King Narezuan also agreed. That later became the jetty, which is the main attraction of the temple. You can climb up the stairs to have a better look of the city up there. come here whenever we visit the Yutia. Though this was probably our 10th time at Wat Yai Shai Meng Kun already, I was still excited to be able to walk around. I was still fascinated by the structures, just like my first time here. Our next destination was Wat Mahat Hat. The temple was so huge and I almost got lost by just walking around the area. And while wandering here and there, a thought came to my mind. If the ruins of the temple were this breathtaking, how would the place in its perfect condition be like? But I guess I'll never know the answer to that, since people in the past didn't have any device that can take photos, and there were no one to draw pictures of the temple in the time. Last destination for today, Wat Mang Kun Bapit and Wat Prasi Sen Pet. Wat Prasi Sen Pet was actually the model for Wat Prakao, or the Temple of the Emerald Buddha in Bangkok. It is thought that there used to be a royal palace built within the same area. But most of the structures were completely destroyed, except for the three main jetties that can be observed in a pretty good condition comparing to others. Most of the temples and historical sites in the UTI closed at around half past six. We arrived at Waprasi Sunpet at 6 p.m. So we got half an hour to walk around and enjoy the sunset before the area will be closed. To conclude, I had an amazing time visiting all the temples today. There were both toys and tourists who also came here to travel, which was a nice thing to see. And this was definitely more than how I expected it to be when I said I want to try my new camera out. Thank you for watching and see you on my next trip. Mm -hmm.